Okay guys, so what I've done off camera, because you probably don't want to see me moving the cabinet, which is quite heavy. What I've done is actually moved my, I'll show you. I've moved my whole TV unit, which is quite a long, big one, um, away from the wall, as you can see, quite far, which is not ideal. There goes the laser. It's not ideal, as you can see, but what this will allow me to do is get this screen to 120 inch or close to I think this to me looks like it's probably 120 so um, I'll leave it like that for the for, for now because the room is empty and later on I'll play with getting a proper extension to the cabinet made but for now we can actually experience the 120 inch size and set it up all right so let's have a look at the software setup first time I'm doing it so bear with me if I'm if I'm housing or making mistakes okay so so it wants me to download the latest smart things app on the mobile so I already have that as I have a um, as I have a um, all right, so it keeps prompting to set up the uh, the um, using it the Smart Things app, or I can use the remote too. Now I'll use the Smart Things app, might as well. I've got it on my phone. Okay, so I'm just turning on Smart Things here. Smart Things app is open on the phone, and download and select the latest. Nothing's coming up. Let's have a look. It's not automatically connecting. And nothing's coming up, so I'll try and edit. I'm going to select scan nearby. And as you can see, it has picked it up now. So the projector is there. I'll select the projector. Put the volume down a bit. It is very nice lounge music. I love it. Okay, so here we've got, if you have a look. Now, I'm not an expert on these videos. I don't do any YouTubing videos really at all. So this is my first video, pretty much, of unboxing and doing something like this. Um, so bear with me if it's not too professional. But um, the reason I'm doing it is because when I was looking to buy this projector, I couldn't really find any really good videos. There were snippets here and there on the LSP70 and a few more on the 9T model, but nothing really detailed from start to finish on setup like this. So hopefully this is useful if you're looking to get it and see how it works. So anyway, this is the smart things app on the Samsung phone and I'm just going to click start location home living room I'll select um, add new room theater room hopefully or cinema media room oh well, that's not too bad let's try media room next wallpaper yeah doesn't bother me too much and next connecting to your screen so there it is the projector has picked it up it's currently connecting probably getting the Wi-Fi network I'm guessing automatically from my um, from my phone okay I gotta put the pin in I'll put that in Okay, pin has been put in. Following instructions on the mobile. Let's connect. Now it said something about not being compatible with my Wi Fi, so that's interesting. I do have Mesh Wi Fi from TP Link, but it appears to have worked. Uh, agree to all. I guess you have to these days. Click OK. 
Okay. My TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi just alerted me to a new device connecting, so that's good news. Projector sitting there. Samsung projector LSP7. Yep, that's fine. I'm happy with that name. I'll probably rename it later. Okay, connecting to the projector. Choose your voice assistant. That's interesting. Um, there's no Google Google Assistant here. There's no um, which is what I use. So I don't use Bixby or Alexa. So let's choose later. Okay. So choose later. I'm gonna. I'm sure there's an update that lets you use Google. Let's see. I guess. Choose next. I hope so. General information, da 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 da. Back up my data, okay. And continuing. Projectors are sitting in the back. Okay, it's detecting external devices, so anything that I've got connected, and I don't have anything connected just now. If you're wondering what I'm going to be using, I'll probably actually connect a Google Chromecast with TV to this, which I have in the main room on the large screen TV we've got there. I love the Google Android experience and I love the uh, personalization and how it curates all the different services, Disney, Netflix, Prime. So I might get another one of those and connect it into here. Um, and maybe an Xbox uh, down the track, but that'll probably be it. Um, okay, just sitting here. Sorry about me blabbing on, but it actually wants me to continue. And it's trying to identify, there's nothing there, Spotify, I'll skip that, I don't use it. I'm a Google man. No, I do not want to skip, please. Continuing the device setup. Now, register your projector, is it's got my email, projector serial number, register. So I'm going to register the... Um, the projector for warranty, I guess, and purposes and whatnot. So it's taking its um, time to do that. That's all right, Samsung. There's no rush here. People aren't watching and um, eager to see the next step. Maybe I have to click next. Nothing. No. Okay. All done. There we go. All done on here. Start watching TV icon on here. There we go. And it's opening up to what looks like Bloomberg TV. Oh wow, this is interesting. So it picks up some IPTV um, automatically and just plays it straight away so that you know you get an experience out of the box. I don't have anything connected to this projector. There's no set top box there's no antenna even though it has a free to air antenna i don't have one in this house i stream everything so um let's put the volume down while i talk so there's nothing connected to this uh projector and what you've seen me set up is exactly um how it came out of the box then i set it up connected it so and there's nothing connected i think it's a really nice experience that I've had setting up this projector. Hopefully you've um, enjoyed it with me because um, Samsung's done really well, I think. The whole experience from opening up the box, which is quite nice, well packaged, uh, very easy. There's not too much random stuff in there. Very easy to set up. Anyone could do it. Um, you just plunk it down on the TV cabinet, adjust it. Very easy to adjust, actually. Some people said it's quite hard. But I found it very easy. I know there's a lot more adjustment that I have to do. There is um, the focus is a bit off on the left hand side. Um, it's a bit blurry on the left hand top side there. Now that's what I'm going to go through in another video with you guys, setting up the focus and the contrast and all that. I'll, I'll go through all my experience with it. But so far, very easy to set up and adjust. This is roughly 120 inch, I think, on a white wall. So it's not um, on a special a uh, ambient light rejecting or other screen which I know would look even better and I might invest in one of those uh, down the track but this is just on a white plasterboard 
in a room which I'll show you just so you get an example a small sort of I guess you could say theater room with a window there which I'm gonna have to block out as you can see this is all very raw um, we just moved in here not long ago so this room is basically bare not even have any blinds there as you can see um, but I'm very impressed with the picture here on a white wall in a room like this I am planning to possibly paint these walls a dark grey to make it look a bit nicer and that will help with the um, the blacks um, but anyway this is the uh, setup of it after setting up the software connecting it through smart things I'm not sure how it would, it would work with the remote setup um, but using the smart things app was very easy and I love how it just goes to Bloomberg TV news here and play straight away just to show you um, you know what it looks like very very impressed with it thank you for watching